This is where we left off in the last video. We followed these steps to get the square root of 8281 as 91. Now let's try solving for the square root of 6084. Before we start off with the steps, remember to draw lines like these next to the number. After this, go to the first step. We mark pairs from the unit's end. So we draw bars over 84 and 60. So the two pairs we have are 60 and 84. Now we look for a perfect square which is equal or just lower than the first pair. The first pair is 60. Since 60 is not a perfect square, we look for a square closer to it. 49 is a perfect square close to 60, so is 64. But remember, we choose the perfect square closest and just lower. So 49 is the perfect square we're looking for. And we have to write the square root of this perfect square here. We know that 7 squared is 49. And hence, we write a 7 here. You should know that finding the first number is the most important step of this process. If we go wrong here, then the rest of it will definitely be wrong. In the next step, we multiply above and write the product here. So 7 multiplied by 7 gives us 49. And then we add below and draw a box next to it. 7 plus 7 gives us 14. And we leave some space for the box. Next, we follow out three simple steps. Subtract product. 60 minus 49 gives us 11. Then we get the next pair which is 84 down. Then we draw the same box above and below. And at last, we reach our favorite step, finding the digit in these boxes by trial and error. We want the product of two numbers to be equal to 1184. But the product will look something like this. And we have to use trial and error to find the digit in these boxes. Okay, now here's a trick you need to remember. This trick can be used only when there are no more pairs left. Here, since 84 was the last pair we brought down, we can use this trick. We know all the boxes contain the same digit and any digit from 0 to 9 can be in it. That doesn't mean we try all digits one by one starting from 0 until we reach 9. Look at the unit's digit of the result we want. It's 4. So the product of the two digits in the boxes must have 4 as the unit digit. So we narrow down our possibilities to just two choices. 2 times 2 equals 4 or 8 times 8 equals 64. Both have the unit digit as 4. It will either be 142 times 2 or 148 times 8. The digit in the box will either be 2 or 8. The first product gives us 284 and the second product gives us 1184, exactly what we wanted. The digit in the boxes will be 8. After we find the digit in the box, we go back to the third step. We multiply above, 148 multiplied by 8 equals 1184, and then we add below. 148 plus 8 gives us 156. Then we subtract the product we got from the number above it. 1184 minus 1184 equals 0. We stop since there are no more pairs left in the number. The number at the top is the square root. We get the square root of 6084 as 78. How do we check if our answer is correct? One way is to multiply the answer with itself and see if we get the original number. The other way is interesting. This number here will always be twice of the answer. 156 is 78 multiplied by 2. In the previous example 2, 182 is the double of 91. Wait a moment. What if we had 5 digits in our number? After choosing 2 pairs, only 1 digit will be left. We will see an example based on 5 digits in another video.